So your homework was uh, to solve the first three uh, or four questions. And uh, since I was a little under the weather and didn't get the videos made, I'm only going to hold you responsible for one through three. And what I'm going to do is first, let's write out these Suvat equations. Now, this is what I would give you on a test. I would actually write out for you, or actually have in your formula sheet, S equals one half AT squared plus UT. V equals AT plus U. And then V squared equals U squared plus two AS. And now let's just be clear on what each letter stands for and what the units are. So first, um, S is displacement. or distance, and that's going to be measured in meters. V is, sorry, U, because it's suvat, is initial, whoops, initial velocity, and that's going to be meters per second. V is final velocity, and that's going to also be meters per second. We're going to have A, which is acceleration. That's going to be meters per second squared. And time T is going to be measured in seconds. So those are the five letters, the four, yeah, the five letters that we have. And what we're going to do now is basically set up these three equations with the letters and solve them. Now, one question that I always get from beginning students is, how do you know which equation to use? And I have some very, very good news for you. It actually turns out as teachers, uh, we don't know either. We try one out. Um, now, because we've been doing it for years, we have an intuition. So like 99% of the time, what we try out is going to work. Um, but every now and then, um, I'll try out an equation, and it just won't give me what I need. And don't panic. Don't give up. You know how to do the physics. You just go to the next equation. So here, it says a particle has this initial velocity um, and an acceleration. We want to find its displacement after 10 seconds. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through every number here and put a letter above it that's going to go into one of the Suvat formulas. So the initial velocity is 2, so that'll be u. The acceleration is 4, so that's a. And it's displacement after 10 seconds. That's t of time. It's not that the displacement is 10 seconds. Careful on the units. Time is seconds. And then what I'll do is this. I'm actually going to write out the letters for suvat. So what I'm doing here, I'm going to make you all do. I don't care how good you think you are at this. Okay, I'm going to be making you write all of this out to be absolutely clear that you're getting the answers right. So s is unknown. u is 2. v is Unknown, it's not given, A is 4, and T is 2. So I want the displacement after 10 seconds. And let's just remember that S is the displacement, that's the unknown. So all I'm doing is I'm labeling the letters. I have them here. And now let me just grab the top formula. Since I want displacement, and that's S equals, let's try it out and see what happens. I don't know if this is going to work. If it doesn't, I won't panic. I'll just move on to the next formula and I'll plug in my numbers. So S equals 1 half times 4 times 10 squared plus 2 times 10. I'm just grabbing the values and putting them in the formula. And when I grab this, 1 half times 4 is going to be 2. Remember, you don't square the whole thing. You're just going to square the 10. So that'll be 100 plus 20. And when I work that out, that's going to be 220. So you notice this is not just a study in physics, but um, it's a study in PEMDAS. Uh, so we're going to be reviewing that a little bit, too, just to make sure we feel comfortable with that. Next, problem number two. We have a U um, of 5 meters per second. A car has an initial velocity. We have a displacement. Its velocity is 7. Uh, and we want to find the acceleration of the car. Now, one thing I notice, I'm going to actually not grab the first formula I think of, and I'll tell you why. Let's write out the SUVAT letters. S-U-V-A-T. Great. So, S is 20, U is 5, 
v is 7, a is unknown, and t is unknown. So I look at my formulas here, and I have a little intuition. I notice that t isn't given, and look at this bottom formula. I don't have t in it either, so maybe it's the logical formula to use. So let's go ahead and try it out and see what happens. So I'm going to have that v squared equals u squared plus 2as, whoops, plus 2 times a times s. Notice, I actually recopy the formula. You need to do that as well. If I see you putting in numbers first to start with, I know that some of you may have some experience with this and you feel like it's okay for you to do that. Maybe for this one problem, but I'm teaching you not just how to solve this problem, but how to solve problems that you're not familiar with. So you're going to write the formula first and right below it, then you can put in your numbers times a times 20. Now, a couple things. I'm going to use some PEMDAS stuff here, so be careful. So 7 squared is 49 equals 5 squared, which is 25, plus. Now, um, 2 times a times 20. I can actually use commutative property to swap the 2 and the a. So I want to be clear, 2 times a times 20 is actually going to, be work, out, is actually going to work out to be 40 times a, because I can multiply the 2 and 20. So you're going to have to remember some of the stuff that you're doing in algebra. Then I'm going to subtract 25 from both sides. And that's going to give me 24 equals 0 plus 40a. So uh, 0 plus 40a is just 40a, so 24 equals 40 times a. And then we're going to divide both sides by 40. And we're actually going to get our final answer as 0 0.6. Now, um, and you know what, let me get the units on the 0 0.6 meters per second squared equals my A. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm really curious to see how many people actually watch the videos that I'm making here. So for those of you that watch the videos, you get a little bit of a surprise. I told you before the weekend that um, I was going to have you do four questions. Um, and so some of you are going to attempt four questions because you're not going to watch the videos and you're going to not get these problems done. But for those of you that are watching the videos, here is the surprise. I'm stopping at problem number two, and I only want you to bring completed one and two to class. So I'm just kind of curious to see how this is going to shake out. So you've got the videos here. I'm going to put this on the LMS right now. And uh, let me know how this goes, and we'll check in and do some more acceleration problems um, uh, tomorrow. Remember what we're setting up for. We're doing a lab where I want to see how playing Mario Kart with one hand is going to actually affect your reaction time when we drop a ruler. So um, uh, I don't know what I'm enabling here, but I'm very curious to see how this works out.